Political reservation in India and affirmative action more generally worldwide has long attracted controversy. And at the core of the debate are two claims that opponents of affirmative action generally make. First, that reservations will hurt overall development outcomes because they will empower less competent individuals. And second, that any gains for targeted vulnerable communities will primarily come at the expense of other vulnerable communities. Our new study speaks directly to this debate. We study how scheduled areas in India where political quota reserves half of all panchayats and all chairperson positions for the historically disadvantaged scheduled tribes affects development outcomes, in particular the implementation of the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, the world's largest public employment program. To zero in on the effects of the quota, we compare outcomes for villages just on one side of the administrative quota border with outcomes for villages just on the other side of the border. Our findings contrast sharply with the expectations of affirmative action skeptics. First, we find that there are marked improvements for uh, the targeted vulnerable community, but that these gains do not come at the expense of other vulnerable communities and our study scheduled castes. Second, we find that overall development outcomes are no worse in scheduled areas than in non-scheduled areas. We find similar effects in public goods provision and the implementation of another government program, PMGSY. Our study indicates that it is possible to redistribute both political and economic power through political quotas without hurting overall development. Please learn more about our study and our ideas for India blog post.